This is a presentation of our team. As a cultural language, we are this, the ones who participate. Please. Okay. Okay, uh, so we are talking about uh, the uh, past experience. Uh, we are trying to make a, a, the a strategy of uh, the mind map. So uh, we are taking the, 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 the topic as past experience. We are not giving any any structure because we are trying to, to, to remember, to remind uh, how to to use this is the, this is uh, we can uh, use every day. So uh, with past experience, we are centering into four topics, which are foods, which are uh, travelings or places, vacations, and traditions. We are going to center into what is present perfect, and we are going to, to focus on those as the four topics. We are, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to consider the present perfect tense in order to explain past situations that may still happen in the present. So we use this pattern to, uh, as a grammar structure to construct this tense. We can uh, use uh, cognates in order to facilitate the explanation and we have to avoid falling into stereotypes, stereotypes or um, idioms. This content area tries to connect what it's the things that the students have done with the present. Okay, the strategy that we are going to use in this case is going to be the mind map, okay? as literacy mind map. We chose this uh, this story because, as we have already mentioned in previous uh, presentations, it is one of the strategies that uh, help us recall information from students, recall information from their backgrounds, and connect this information to the new information we are about to present. So we know that our students have had several experiences related to the topics that uh, Victor has already mentioned. So that's why this, this, this story is so important, because it helps us to bring this information okay, and use it in order to construct. And in the end, what we are pretending to do is that students are able to construct sentences or produce anything oral or written, but using this structure. For this, we are going to use an, a, a handout. It is called Have You Ever? The idea is that we are going to present later this, this handout. Uh, the idea is that the students are uh, interacting each other in the class and they can exchange information obviously related, related to that, to experiences that fall into those four uh, categories. Okay. The materials that we are going to use, okay, poster, papers with written concepts. These written concepts, as my classmate uh, Victor said, related to food, to holidays, places, yes, that, that our students could um, or are interested to visit or have visited in any time, markers, and uh, the handout, have you ever, and uh, that's the material that we want to use. Okay, so as the, uh, what our students, we would pretend that our students is the learn through this is the SDGs, express past experiences related to food, places, holidays, and traditions. Um, we, we, we choose these four topics because uh, we wanted to to bring our students to uh, experiences and to things that are related to them. And we, uh, we wanted to include uh, traditions which are from our country, uh, foods our our country, holidays that we uh, have in our country, and places we can visit in our country. So the idea is to, to, the, uh, to bind our students to uh, our history, our past, our experiences here in, in Mexico, in our country. So we are going to, to explain now the 
different phases of this este, esta tele. Okay, considering the activation phase, we are going to consider once where our students have um, get the knowledge and the structure of distance, they won't need to remember how to construct a sentence using distance because they are going to be using communication as a um, conditional reflex, reflect, reflection. So they are going to be able to communicate without thinking about how to structure their uh, intention of communication. Yes, in this, in this section, the teacher starts to model the, the structure. No? For example, an open uh, question. Have you ever been to uh, Chichen Have you ever uh, celebrated the dead? The, 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 the okay. Juan. Juan. Have you ever have you ever watched a Mexican dancing? Yeah, I guess so. Yes? Yes. Where? 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 Uh, probably the first time when I was in elementary school. Oh, interesting. Can you <laughs> make the question to, to Jaime? Jaime? For example, what about food? Have you ever? Okay. Uh, Jaime, have you ever tasted uh, oats? Rice, Mexican rice. No, I have. I have. I I have. 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 I when we give this information to our students, they have to recall information. They have to bring information around the topics. If, as we, you, you could see, and as our partners did in the photographies on the previous exercise, well, where we are, what we are given is the posters with words related to this, and they have to recall that information. After that, when we go to the connection phase, what we have to do is that we are going to ask our students to work in pairs, okay? And what they have to do is collect this information, this information, making making questions, collect information about these four categories that we presented. So for example, here we have, have you ever, have you ever Chinese food? So they have to walk around and talk to one of uh, his peers and ask this information. Okay. Have you ever been to the USA? Have you ever celebrated Christmas? Have you ever eaten uh, Mexican food, enchiladas, whatever? So the idea is that they use this structure, but they try to recall also the information from the background. As we can see, well, this is the information that they have to use. They have to use the structure in present perfect to recall that experience. Yes. Uh, with this um, handout, it has a chance to socia socialize the, the language, not only find the person, as for example. Carla, have you listened to mariachi music? Yes, yes I have. Really? Yes. Do you like? Yes, I like. Where? Where, Where did you listen to mariachi? In Campeche. In one event, that was pure in Thank you very much. So, find the uh, connections with the future, with her future, is her background, right? And finally, we have the affirmation. We to uh, involve um, uh, our students. The students like games, so we have one game. Yes, we need. Uh, dice and of course time for us for us it's important uh, timing to see how uh, how the structure is uh, well learned in the in, in, in the students so they, they can enjoy this part practicing and practicing the our the structure 
Another important part is as we develop the lesson, okay, remember that we have to go back to our mind map, okay, and add information that they have been sharing. For example, in the connection stage, the idea is that our students go back to our mind maps, okay, ones that they have interacted to each other, and they uh, add other information that they have already shared, maybe information from other students that they didn't work in the first part, okay. In the end, the idea is, again, come to this stage, review again in groups or in teams as they were working at the beginning, uh, review the information, and complete those mind maps with any other information that they, they can add. The idea is that this, this strategy is looking forward to gathering as much information as they can from the very beginning, from the backgrounds, ones that they have been socializing, and then in the end, they have to use that, uh, that information, including two uh, right sentences, because the idea is that we, in the end, we are, we are going to ask our students to produce two or three sentences, and it can be individually or in teams, using the information from their mind maps, and using the structure that we have been modeling during the class. Yes, for example, uh, Marina, if you see uh, a car, what, which question can you make to, to your classmates? Wait, have you ever driven a car? Perfect. Uh, a bicycle, Monique? Sorry, what? I can see a bicycle only in, in the game. Yeah. You ever... What question can you make to, to your classmates? Have you ever driven a car? Okay, so that's the, the idea. Okay, este, we continue now. Este, this is not just taking just out like uh, nothing. So it is the model into this este, accommodation. Accommodation really is a spiral. So we are going to just to, to go through all the, the levels of this este, spiral to see how we uh, try to accommodate our lesson. And finally, we can comment our students once they command these tents, the use of these tents, they can exchange information about their habits, okay. culture, traditions, and they are going to complete a whole information in order to refer what's happening in their context. Yes. So, uh, with this activity, we uh, try to cover what the, the accumulation reading spiral uh, demands. On the, on the on the process so the background the person perfect we're asking the background in the second yes yeah in, in this one related to, to families so uh what we try to, to do is to, to use these uh, cultural values related to the to the families related to the traditions which are, are part of especially we as, as Mexicans, we, we Mexicans are related to, to culture, we are related to, to, to food, we are related to the places we visit. So that is the, uh, the connection we try to, to make with using this as the, uh, strategy. And as we said before, uh, the teacher's ability in the third, in the third element, well, the elemental readiness, the teacher's ability to present, monitor, and make the most both internal and external environment. It is status of CLD students in his or her community for language academic learning, as we can see, then? Well, we have just to consider the summarize about all, this, all those concepts we have studied and how can we use them to communicate, because that's our main point. Yes, if it is suitable with the level of the students. And that's... Um,